Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the conclusion of But First Plants. I apologize for my tardiness. I had a small person who decided to go use the potty right when I was about to start, so <laughs> we're just a couple of minutes behind this morning. No big deal. All right. So as promised, this morning is actually our final session of But First Plants. And I just want to kind of go over why. Why have I been talking about um, seeds and the importance of uh, good seeds and good soil and good distillation practices? Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. So, and all of the, it's all very important. You know, the, the dirt is important. The um, integrity of the seeds is important. How we extract this essential oil, the plant blood, from the plants is very important. So that is where we started this series. And then we looked at the properties of the plants themselves, the history of how they've been used throughout mankind's existence. You know, um, and we looked at 12 different plants and blends, uh, actually 13. 13 different plants and blends. Mm -hmm. And I chose these very specifically because this is how you get started. <laughs> this is how you get started. Um, the, the plants and oils I chose are were completely based off of the starter kit because it's such a well-balanced kit. Mm -hmm. uh, the plants in it cover every body system from your digestive system to your emotional health even your spiritual health can all be benefited through the oils and plants in this kit it's fantastic and there is more than one kit to choose from so basically honestly right now it is the beginning of february coronavirus is insane people are scared i have seen so many people that are sick their family members are sick their kids are sick it's crazy and i had a friend ask me earlier in the week have y'all managed to avoid getting sick and i said yes yes we have we have not been sick and everyone else around us seems to be. And here's the thing. God is our ultimate healer. And he has provided for us these amazing tools to use to help our bodies heal themselves. Because that's how he created it. You know, he created our bodies to be well. He created our minds and our souls and our spirits to act as one in this physical shell that we call a body and all of that interacts with each other so if you have something emotional going on it's going to manifest itself physically don't believe me how does your body react when you're stressed out you know does your heart rate increase does your digestive system get a little wonky is it hard to sleep? All because that emotion, stress, is manifesting itself physically. So it's all connected. God didn't create us to be a body, a soul, and a spirit separately, right? He created us all as a single being, and all of it connects. And he gave us tools to minister to our needs that work on all of the different levels, right? So we can attempt to make our own. And in some ways they work, but it's never as good. It's never as good. So, yes, all of the plants I have been talking about, there was a point to it because these are all a good 
good way to get started using the tools that God gave us. Right? Um, okay, I'm actually going to keep this really short this morning because it is just a conclusion. But it's also a call to take this knowledge that I've given you and do something with it. Yes, it's wonderful to know that lavender has been used throughout history for relaxation and for beauty and for um, and peppermint was used for digestion by the Romans. But if all you do is sit around with that knowledge in your head, what good does it do you? Hmm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. It's a fun little fact that you keep in the back of your mind and trot out at parties. And it doesn't do you a lick of good. Hmm. But if you go forth and do something with it, then then you will see some changes in your health, in the health of your family, maybe in the health of your friends. If you continue to share what God has done in your life. Hmm. And that's what I'm doing. God has, oh, he has made such a difference in our lives through these very plants. If you remember, every time I talked about a plant, I shared a little story about how it has affected our health. Because it has. Every single one of these plants has made a difference in our health. And I can't help telling others about it because it has been so amazing. I am not afraid when my children get sick. I am not afraid when the whole world is complaining of sickness and running scared because I know my healer and I know that I have these tools that he has provided for our health and benefit. And I am going to keep telling others who are scared and who are dealing with this stuff, hey, God has provided something. Would you be willing to try it? Because it's worked for us. It's worked for us. And I know that it will work for you too. So if you've been listening to this entire program and you are, you know, saying, hey, I need these in my life, please comment on this post or send me a message. Facebook Messenger is a great way to get a hold of me. And I would love, love, love to help you get started. If someone else showed you this series and said, hey, you need these. Talk to that person, please, and say, you know, if you're ready, ask them to help you get started. I don't care if it's me or someone else, whoever you are close to, but talk to someone and get these, these amazing gifts that God has given into your home and into your life and start using them. They don't do you any good in the bottle. They don't do you any good on the shelf and they don't do you any good in the warehouse. <laughs> they do you good on your body. They do you good when you're breathing them in. They do you good inside where they can work. All right. Well, thank you so much for sticking with me through this series. I know it's been long, but it's been so much fun to research all of the history of all these different plants and to share what I have learned with you. And I hope you will continue to go out and use these gifts that God has given and that you will continue to share your stories because we all have unique and amazing stories that God is working in our lives. And it's only when we share them that we have that joy and that peace and we see others' lives touched. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have an amazing week and 
I am probably going to start a new series next week. So keep your eyes peeled and we will try something new in a little while. All right. Talk to you guys later.